Okay, this is not my usual way that I would share a recipe with you, but here's what happened. I mixed up the recipe, the creamy cold slaw, but I didn't have the camera turned on. And I, once I had it all put together and I tasted how good it was, I was like, oh man, I wish I'd turn on the camera. So I went ahead and turned on the camera and I just show you all the ingredients that go into the recipe. I'm not going to do this all the time, but I'm doing it this time. In a medium bowl, mix together a half a cup of tofu mayo, a fourth teaspoon of smoked sweet Spanish paprika, half teaspoon of fresh ground pepper, one teaspoon of celery seeds, one teaspoon of onion granules or powder, whatever you have on hand, three-fourths teaspoon of salt, preferably from a really cool 1970s avocado green salt shaker, two tablespoons of rice vinegar or white vinegar, and then two tablespoons of some kind of sweetener like agave nectar, maple syrup, or, you know, brown sugar. How come you taste so good? And then you can chop up your own uh, green cabbage and carrots and onions if you want. But I went ahead and just bought a bag of the washed ready to eat slaw and tossed it all together in the bowl and uh, made sure everything was well coated and then transferred that to one of my favorite Pyrex dishes and bam, it was ready to eat, baby. I put that cold slaw right next to some creamy potato salad and a black bean burger with tempeh bacon on the inside. Oh yeah, that's some good eats right there. If you don't have a copy of the Plant Pure Nation cookbook, you need to get one. It will quickly become your next favorite plant-based cookbook. Yeah, seriously, I'm not yanking your chain here. It has, it has become my number one go-to book for the last two months that I've had it. All right, I hope you give this recipe a try. Be on the lookout for a creamy potato salad recipe. It's coming up next. Bye.